Hello everyone, welcome to Hunter Gatherer Cooking where tonight I'm finally excited and pleased to say that we're going to be cooking on the Asado Grill. I couldn't yesterday because it started um, to rain. I didn't check the weather forecast but I've just got home from work. We've not got loads of light so we'll probably finish this video in the dark but she is lit. Um, I've come home, I've literally, I've just gone for it, just started the fire straight away. Um, so hopefully in about an hour or so's time, we'll be ready to cook. I've got that tomahawk out the freezer and I will be damned if I let that go to waste. I want that tomahawk on this grill and this grill alone. So I'll check in later. Okay, so we're, um, we'll give or take about 45 minutes from um, when I lit this. You can tell it's night time. The bats will be out soon um, and I'm cooking at night, but Unlike cooking on a perhaps a charcoal barbecue, we have got all the light that we could possibly need. It is absolutely boiling stood here. I can't wait to start cooking. Um, and what's happening now is if I turn the wheel. So what's happening now is those embers are falling down and they're piping hot. I'm just gonna leave those um, just a little bit more just to um, bring a few more down and then we're gonna be cooking. And this is what we're cooking tonight. Lovely little short bone tomahawk um, tonight, just sort of seasoned up there. So this has been out about uh, an hour or so. And as soon as we have a few more embers in there, we'll start. I've had to take my jumper off. It's, it's so, so hot stood here, but it is absolutely magnificent. Um, actually, that reminds me, a few people have asked um, about my t-shirts recently um, by a wicked guy, um, tiny print shop. Um, you better find him on Instagram. Um, absolutely love his stuff at the moment, but I reckon this is nearly ready. Okay, I'm gonna try and film this and and do this. So the, basically the plan is to spread your embers like that. You would do it all across. Um, I don't really need to because we've, we've just got the, the one. So that's basically it. I'm not really gonna add much more wood now, if any. And uh, we're gonna lower the grill. Try and do this all on camera so you just simply ooh, there's a break there and if i can do this no i can't there we go the grill is lowered back down now unfortunately there's more than enough light for me but i don't know if you guys are going to see it okay so luckily i uh i have a light so now you can see everything so the tomahawk's all set up with the meter i've even got the iPad running there and this should be as easy as that and now I guess we just wait and see what happens really let's have a little look see oh wow wow Oh yeah, that's looking nice. Looking really, really, really nice. For anyone who's into ASMR stuff, just listen to this. I am so toasty. It's pitch black. And at the moment, I could not be happier. Just look at it. Just listen to the butter and the juices. 
just running down into the gullies. I mean, this is this is cooking. This is barbecue. This is just unreal. Just phenomenal. I'm absolutely loving this. Oh, I can't wait to eat this. I've never actually used these lights for um, for nighttime cooking, but if anyone's interested, let me turn them off. Oh, so that's wow, that's off, um, and then and then that's on. So they're really good. I'll put the link in below if anyone does any nighttime cooking and things. Wow. Okay, so we're coming to a close soon. We're about five minutes away from when this is sort of ready we're going we're going for about 125 degrees Fahrenheit for a sort of a rareish sort of temperature obviously this needs to rest soon but put the tomatoes on we'll get them grilled off but this has just been unreal okay so this is it the meter has told me that we're at the magic temperature. Let's get that on a board. Let's let that rest and then we'll cut it open. Okay, so it's rested. Pull the thermometer out. Let's have a little look and see how she's doing. I think this is going to come out pretty well. It's a nice little um, first flight for the knife as well. I'm not use this to chop meat, and it is chopping it absolutely beautifully. We're just going to season over the top of this. With some salt but I think you will agree that that certainly looks absolutely phenomenal that is exactly how I like it I hope you agree There we are, all plated up. Looks absolutely delicious. Let's get this eaten. Just look at that. Such a beautiful steak um, from Easter Compton. And this is such a nice meal. Cheers, everyone. Mm. Tender, tasty, really nice crust on that as well. Perfect. Well, that is it. Uh, the coals are virtually, well, they haven't burnt out, they're still warm, but it's certainly very quiet now. That steak was so nice. So, so nice. Um, the Asado Grill is a phenomenal, phenomenal bit of kit. Um, especially this one designed by Somerset Grill. Um, I loved, well you can tell, I loved every second of that. Uh, this is an amazing bit of kit, it's been designed, well, perfectly, um, in my opinion. But that was just so much fun, like so much fun. You can check them out, I'll put all the links and things below. This is unfortunately on loan for a couple of weeks to me, and then they're going to take it back. But maybe if we could get 50 million likes on here, maybe they'll let me keep it you never know um so please give it a thumbs up um definitely contact them and let them know that you've seen this and you think their grill is amazing um i've already had a few people 
sort of say to me that they think it's great. Um, follow them on Facebook and Instagram, but thank you so much for watching. Please hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Um, let me know any questions that you have. Give me any tips as well, because I've got this for the next few weeks, so I intend to use it. So um, I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.